Addie, let's restock our shelves and get ready for our very first patients for the day. All right. Hey, toy doctor? Yes, toy intern Addie? How's business been says mean Dr. Jason became toy Dr. Jason? Well, you know, it's been a little slower than normal, but you know what, I guess as long as sick kids are getting proper care with toy medicine, then I guess it's okay. Wow, you're taking this better than I thought. I want to drive that toy Dr. Jason right out of business, especially after he made that mean commercial about you. Well, I'm just trying to focus on the kids for now. And speaking of kids, we better get to our first patient. Tori, why are you at the toy doctor today? I have butterflies in my stomach. For what? I have a dance recital tonight in front of hundreds of people. Ah! Wow, that does sound scary, Tori. So I need these butterflies out soon. Sydney, why are you at the toy doctor? I lost my sense of smell. And I'm dying to know what this giant pick me pop is smelling like. Ooh, let me smell it. Mmm, very delicious. Thanks, but I want to smell it. Oh, excuse me, that's my phone. What's this text message? Are you sitting at Toy Doctor Lucy's waiting room right now? If so, get out of there. She's a fake, she's a fraud, and I'm a real one. So come on over to see Toy Doctor Jason. I have the brand new LOL Surprise Glitter Series. I have the For Real Friends and the brand new Fingerlings. So get out of Toy Doctor Lucy's waiting room and come see me, the real Toy Doctor. Dr. Jason. Huh? Should we ditch this toy doctor and go to the other one? Well, he does have better toys. Let's do it! <laughs> Alright, Addy, would you mind running out to the waiting room and grabbing our first patient for the day? Oh, okay. It looks like it's Tori. Perfect. Where's Tori? Hmm, what's this phone here? <gasps> I gotta show this to the toy doctor. Toy doctor, I have some bad news. Oh no, what is it? First, the waiting room's empty. Oh! <gasps> Second, I found this. Oh! Are you sitting at Toy Doctor Lucy's waiting room right now? If so, get out of there. <gasps> she's a fake, she's a fraud, and I'm a real one, so come on over to see Toy Dr. Jason. I have the brand new LOL Surprise Glitter Series. I have the For Real Friends and the brand new Fingerlings. So get out of Toy Dr. Lucy's waiting room and come see me, the real Toy Doctor, Dr. Jason. This is so not cool. I'm gonna march right up to that Dr. Jason's office and put it into this. <laughs> wow, my marketing strategy is working wonders. I'm seeing more patients than ever and making more money than I've ever dreamed of. Business is booming. Hey, this waiting room looks exactly like your waiting room toy doctor. It sure does. And hey, these patients look an awful lot like my patients too. Sydney, didn't I cure you of hiccups not too long ago? Um, yeah. And Tori, didn't I give you like the coolest vaccines ever that were toys instead of shots? Yeah. Yeah. Traitors. Well, we heard he had better toys. All right, let me just set up a few more things here. Get that all in place. Toy Doctor Jason. Hey, hey. Hello. this is the exact same setup I have in my exam room. He even has your same posters. And the same caterpillar. And you've got cutie cars instead of gods. And tangle instead of cotton. And he even has your same exam table. Yeah, well, I learned from the best. Although, I guess I'm the best now. I'm the one with the full waiting room. What's your waiting room like today? Well, it's actually empty, and the reason it's empty is because of you. I trusted him to be a toy doctor. Yes, I did. And you're giving toy doctors a bad name out there. A bad name? No way. I'm just a good, smart businessman. I know smart how to bring it over. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm the smart toy doctor. You are a fraud. 
I don't think so. You're prescribing all the wrong toys for all the cures that you're trying to achieve here. What? And I think I've got it down, and uh, patients so. seem to be yeah. coming to you know me. What? You're giving to the doctors a bad name. Excuse me, there are patients in the waiting room, people. Why don't you let them decide who the best toy doctor is? Well, I'm fine with that, as long as I can treat them first. And tell you what, if they decide that I'm the better doctor, you have to go out of business. <gasps> you can't agree to that toy doctor. You know what? I'm fine with that. Why didn't you agree to that? You know what? I'm more talented doctor. I am not worried in the slightest. Okay, toy doctor. Addy, why don't you call the first patient in for us, please? Okay, good luck, guys. I hope it's me first. All right, first patient up, Tori. That's me. Hello, Tori. Welcome to the real toy doctor. Hi. Oh, boy. <sighs> oh, just ignore them. I have the perfect prescription for you, Tori. It's the LOL Surprise Pet. Wow, I always wanted one of these. Excuse me, Dr. Jason, don't you need to know what's wrong with her before you prescribe toy medicine? Oh yes, of course. What brings you to the real toy doctor today, Tori? Well, I have butterflies in my stomach because I have a dance recital tonight in front of hundreds of people. Well, I do understand the butterflies and I do have the perfect prescription for that. It's the LOL Surprise Pets. Oh boy. So I get to open it now? You bet. Wow, you're the best toy doctor ever. Did you hear that? Best toy doctor ever. <laughs> well, let's not get carried away. Let's see what happens after she actually unboxes it. Music to my ears. And here are my stickers. What a cute kitty. I got Rough Rocker, so it is a doggy. Wow, this is so cool, and I can't wait to see what's inside my little box. Well, wonderful. I guess you're good to go now. Good luck on your recital today. See you later, Tori. Recital? <gasps> my butterflies are still here. That didn't work, Toy Doctor. Everyone knows those two allergies. Not butterflies in the stomach, mister. That's right, Toy Doctor G said you're a fraud. Everyone who's a toy doctor knows that tingle is a perfect cure for anxiety and butterflies in the stomach. So Tori, I will heal you in no time. That sounds fabulous. All right, Tori, so these tingle are super fun. You can collect all sorts of varieties. You twist, shape, and fidget them. Why don't you pick out a couple, fidget with them for a bit, and your butterflies will be gone in no time. I'll take these two, toy doctor. Great choice. All right, let's just get it open so you can start fidgeting. So I just fidget with these like this? Exactly, plus check this out. You can connect them. You can pull apart this one and connect this one to it. Voila! Look, I made a necklace. A lovely necklace that is. And tell me, Tori, how are those butterflies in your stomach? They're all gone. I knew they would be. Thanks for all your help. You're the best toy doctor ever. <laughs> Did you hear that, Addie? Mm -hmm. Did you hear that, Toy Doctor Jason? Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right, Tori, thank you for coming in today. You can head on out and good luck at the recital tonight. Great. Bye, hun. Bye. Bye. Toy Doctor Jason, you are not taking your job seriously. Well, you just prescribed something to her without even knowing what was wrong. That is so not cool. Well, you know, it really doesn't matter what I give her. Because what? it's just a toy anyway. Yeah, you know. <sighs> Toys, you know, they don't really it do much anyway. Matter? No, not at all. Be what? Besides, they'll just come back and want more toys, and that just means more business for me. This is not about money. This is about curing sick kids, and you are not taking this seriously. You are a shame to the toy doctor name. Excuse me, you two. We got another patient in the waiting room. You know what? You're right, Addy. Patients first, after all. Money first, you mean? <sighs> all right, I'm gonna go call Sydney. Thank you, Addy. Sydney, you're up next. Oh, great. Thank you for having a seat. All right, Sydney. So tell me, what brings you to see the best toy doctor in town? Oh, bother, not again. I got this brand new Pick Me Pop. 
Wow, that's a nice one. So what the problem is, I lost my sense of smell. Hmm, that is a problem. I really want to know what my kitty smells like. But I get nothing. Well, luckily, I have the perfect cure for that. What do you think he's gonna do this time? I'm afraid to know. Littlest Pet Shops, Pups Unleashed. Here you go, Sydney. Wow, this looks cool. The fox and puppy look so cute. Can I open it now? Sure thing. Once you open that, you should be cured. Think again, toy doctor. Whoa, this is so colorful. I think I nailed this one. The fox and the collie is so adorable. And look, the ball goes right into the bowl, and there's two. And look, Sydney, you could even play fetch with this. And check out the little dog bones. Well, it looks like my job is done here. Oh, really? Why don't you take another look at Sydney, Toy Dr. Jason? Ah. What? What's the matter, Dr. Jason? <gasps> you have rainbow colored hair, Sydney. What? Yeah, and not only do you have rainbow hair, but why do you try spilling that pick me pop again, Sydney? Hey, I still can't smell anything. Yep, and that is because Dr. Jason does not know how to use his toy medicine guide properly. If he did, he would have known that little pet shop toys only cure sprained ankles. And when used improperly, well, there's this side effect. Rainbow hair? Amateur. Yep. Luckily, I know how to fix this, Sydney. First, we're gonna reverse your hair damage, and I have just the cure for that. Thank you so much. This spirit toy should do the trick. Here you go, Sydney. Wow, I watched this show on Netflix. And all you need to do is unbox this toy, and your hair will be back to normal. Yay. Whoa, check out my horse. It looks like I got this one, the girl's horse. And your hair is back to normal, Sydney. Yay! I didn't know that because I don't have a mirror. <laughs> <sighs> of course. And to cure your sense of smell, I've got this. And it's a sketch freestyle. Wow, look at all the colors. I know, so all you have to do is unbox it, play with it for a few minutes, and you'll be able to smell your pick me pop again. Ooh, cool. Let me see how that works. All right, well you have a pen and you can go ahead and draw something. Why don't you try drawing a heart? That would be a wonderful thing to help that sense of smell come back. Ooh, it looks so pretty. I'm gonna try the crown stamper now. Can I try the cloud? Yep. Cool. And then to erase it, you take it there you go. Like Perfect, like a maraca. Toy doctor, should she try smelling her pick me pop again? Excellent idea, give it a whip. Very delicious. Absolutely. Ah, of course. You are the best toy doctor ever. <laughs> I know, did you hear that, Dr. Jason? Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right, Sydney, well now that you're all cured, <laughs> thanks to me, you can pack all your fun new toy medicine up and you can head on out. Thank you so much for stopping by, Sydney. Here, I'll help you get out. Okay. All right, girl, thanks for coming. High five. Absolutely, we did it, Addie. And as for you, Dr. Jason, I am going straight to that toy medical board and I am recording you so you should be out of business no more being mean and rude and being just a horrible toy doctor in general. Come on, Addie. Ha! Huh. <sighs> this is so not cool. Have you subscribed to Tic Tac Toy yet? If not, what's holding you back? It's absolutely free. Go ahead and click on that button in the corner of your screen, and then you won't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching.